What up, bros? Do you smell that? It's time for that hero stuff, bro! The hero stuff! Oh, Lord! Help him! The hero stuff! All right. I'm done yelling. So, um, I told you when we talked last that uh, we're going to be going flashbacks on the Restoring Heroes Project. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Restoring Heroes Project. It's on iTunes, uh, Google Play, Anchor. Oh, another thing. If you want to be, if you want to guest on, you got some things to talk about. You got some things to say to men um, that will help them, encourage them, um, challenge them, and things like that. Um, go ahead and follow me on Anchor. It's an app. It's called Anchor FM. Um, go ahead and follow me so I can call you up. And we can uh, do a podcast together. And that's anybody that's interested. Um, but we're going to have a couple, a couple conversations before. Make sure you ain't uh, a jack leg or whatever. But anyway. So, uh, today's podcast, like I said, is a flashback. It's my second podcast ever. Um, from like two years ago. But it's talking about the passive man. Passive man 101. And I say on one spot that... When I was younger, when I hear about the story of Adam and Eve, you have a, a a thought in your head that Adam was somewhere else working while uh, Eve was getting finessed. What Eve was getting finessed by Satan, you know what I mean? You have an idea. You have you thinking like, man, uh, Adam was so far away when Eve was getting jacked up by Satan. Um, but the Bible says that. He, uh, Adam was right there with her when Satan was plotting to destroy the world. And, and he never stepped in and said, no, this is wrong. He never stepped in like, nah, God didn't say that that way. He never stepped in. He sat there and watched while the world fell apart. And that's pad. That's being pad. That's like passive man one on one as we. And, and, and I feel that men today, we are sitting and watching our worlds fall apart. We are sitting and watching our daughters being bombarded with images of um, perfect beauty, images of what she should look like, what she should wear to be a girl, what she not wear to be a girl, what she should wear to be a, a beautiful girl, lip gloss, lip place, uh, uh, foundation, high heels uh you should you should be boy crazy at 10 because that's the way natural way right and then we also are getting sit here watching why our wives are getting bombarded by well you got to get it all you can't just be a mother and a wife you have to be a mother a wife a uh, spaceman uh and then you have to be able to cook but not cook all the time and then you have to be able to be a be uh, uh, and be an attorney and then you get you can tuck the kids in at night and all that you have to be superwoman and we getting bombarded with all these things um about our sons uh, now now our sons being sons and wrestling around is a is a bad thing so now the even the schools are joining in and telling us that boys um being aggressive and not in a way that ha it's harmful but they defend themselves they they speak up they don't want to sit down for two hours and listen to you talk who wants to do that? What seven-year-old, eight-year-old, five-year-old can sit down for two hours and listen to you talk about the little engine that could? No one. No, no five-year-old. I'm going to stop yelling, but um, but we sit here and we watch those things. And you watch it emasculate our men. And we watch it. We watch Satan um, masculate uh, emasculate our man and, and, and inject masculinity into our women. Um, and we watch it and we just sit there and take it. And then when God shows up and asks Adam, where are you? We hide in a bush. We hide. We sow leaves together and hide and say, nah, it was the woman's fault. It was the kid's fault. It was, it was, it was this fault and that fault. That's what we do. Um, and I, I, I want to fight against the passive man. I want men to stand up and be the heroes of their homes because believe it or not, man, when you're there, 
I told you before, suicide rates go down. When you are there, poverty rates go down. When you are there, confidence, self-esteem, all that skyrockets. When you are in the home being a man, being a protector, provider, a priest of your home, like God wanted us to. When we have all that, we can fight against the passive men. And that's all I got to say right now. So stand firm in the faith, act like men, and be strong. Ah!